a lot of you have written in to share your thoughts about the vacancy on the U.S. Supreme Court and whether or not the Senate should do what we've always done and hold confirmation hearings on the president's nominee to the court. And I wanted to take a few minutes to respond and let you know my thoughts. The most important context for me is this, that in the 100 years that the Senate has held committee hearings on Supreme Court nominations, every single one of those nominees has received a hearing or been rapidly confirmed until now. Last week, I had the opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with Chief Judge Merrick Garland and ask him questions about his qualifications. Unfortunately, it wasn't a public meeting because the Senate Republicans have decided to play politics with the Constitution and for the first time in history are refusing to have a hearing. The Constitution clearly says that the president has a four-year term. The Constitution says the president shall nominate Supreme Court justices. The Constitution says the Senate shall advise and consent, and that means having an up or down vote. I have no criticism of anyone who wishes to vote against Judge Garland. That's their right as a U.S. Senator. But I have a big problem with refusing to do your job. Some, Republicans, some Senate Republicans have argued that we should, quote, let the people speak in November. Well, if that's the case, should we make every Republican senator who's up for re-election this year stop voting on legislation? Will these senators take their own advice and refrain from voting on anything until the people have had their say in their November re-election contest? You see how silly this becomes. The American people did speak in 2012 when they re-elected President Obama to his constitutionally mandated four-year term making him the first president since Ronald Reagan to win the majority of the electorate twice. The Senate should do its job, and Republican leaders should stop playing politics with the Constitution and hold a hearing and a simple up or down vote. I appreciate everyone who has taken the time to write, email, and tweet your thoughts about this incredibly important issue. Please keep on doing those things until the Senate finally does its job. Thank you.